What is up everybody, it's me Joshua and today I'm going to be showing you how to record some gameplay and or other kinds of footage using your HGP VR while using Linux of course. And just a couple notes real fast, this video tutorial is basically going to assume that your Linux kernel is up to date or at least the Linux kernel release of 2.6.30 or above because that is the kernel release in which the HGP VR drivers were included by default and if you do not have your kernel up to date or that new or your distro isn't that up to date what you can do is go ahead and update the kernel or you can install the HTTP VR drivers themselves and my opinion would be to just go ahead and update the kernel because you're going to get all that other stuff that includes with the kernel update as well as the HTTP VR drivers but if you are feeling like you don't want to do that or you don't know how to do that you can go ahead and just go ahead and grab the HTTP VR drivers and install them and basically it's just a handful of commands but like I said it's probably better to just update the kernel altogether or just get a new distro of course that's more recent and also another note is the fact that I know that there is, of course, Myth TV, which you can record using your HTTP VR, although it is a lot more complex than my method that I found and I currently use, and it doesn't always work the best with wanting to capture gameplay, because Myth TV was designed to capture TV shows, so you know when the TV show is going on and going off, and that's actually how you set up the record, by telling it what time to start and what time to stop. So yeah. My method is just a couple commands in the command line and it records to a file. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up my terminal and what I'm going to do is I'm going to list out the contents of the root dev folder and I'm going to um, restrict those out restrict that output by the video and then asterisk so anything that starts with any file or directory that starts with video and then has anything after it's gonna list and what you're gonna see is you're gonna see video 0 and video 1 now these are representative of video um, devices on your computer now I know for a fact that video 1 is the HTTP VR because of course I've used it before and I'm pretty sure video 0 is my um, web camera so in Linux, the these two files are representative of those devices, and devices can be abstractly thought of in Linux as files themselves. So keep that in mind while we actually record, and I show you the re how to record actually. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug in your HTTP VR, so it loads the device drivers to memory or modules if you want to call them, and we're going to navigate to the folder that we're going to record in, which is going to be my videos folder and I mean it just depends on what video videos folder you want to record to or wherever else you want to record to of course so what we're going to use is we're going to put cat which is a program that's basically used to concatenate append or copy the entire contents of one source file into a target file and since our device our HTTP VR can be referenced as a file itself we can actually use cat to take its contents and put it into another file so once again we're gonna reference that device or our HTTP VR which is video one in my system of course it may vary in your system so you might have to experiment a little and we're gonna redirect that into the file called test.ts and it has to be a .ts file extension because that's just the native file that the HTTP VR records to in the in the beginning and a lot of programs actually transcode that into whatever file format that you want it to but just in general it is a .ts file which is MPEG file and it stands for transport stream I believe um, but you know just know that it's a .ts file and if you record now it will record I think my Xbox is off so let me turn it on really fast and make note of something else now since this records to a .ts file what I believe you can do is pipe it to another program that can do some transcoding into a file format that you would prefer but a .ts file in my opinion works just fine because for one it opens in movie player it opens in VLC um, I'm sure it opens in a lot of other players and it definitely opens in Kden Live which is what I use to edit videos so let's go ahead and record really fast so
so yeah it is recording you see that by the blinking cursor and my HDP VR light came on so I know it's definitely recording now so you stop the recording by hitting the interrupt key which is control C and then if we want to list that out it shows that we have the .ts file from the recording now so let's just use in player to play that really fast I hate it when it does this <laughs> So yeah, it's going to load up and then it's going to go. There it is. So yeah, it was just a really short recording, but it did do what we told it to do. And you can experiment with that on your own. If you have any questions or anything, just t paste them in the comments or message me personally on YouTube. But that's about all I got for you guys today. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, of course.